Today marks the 10 year anniversary of one of the worst U.S. coal mining disasters in the century. The Sago mine disaster took the lives of 12 miners. Alyssa Basenic took a look back at this tragic story. It's a story West Virginians will never forget. An explosion at Sago Mine trapped 13 miners inside, and only one made it out. We understand the grief and the despair and the anger. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not surprised by it. Uh, these people uh, have endured incredible pain over the last two or three days. But the night didn't begin this way. They said if they found them alive, they would ring the church bell, and they the did. After days of waiting, families heard the news they were waiting for, but it wasn't true. A miscommunication from rescue workers to the base had families and friends celebrating, thanking God for a miracle that didn't happen. They needed good information, and uh, we were trying to get them good information, and in the process of being cautious, uh, we allowed the jubilation to go on longer than it, than it should have. Four hours too long, but the grim reality was unavoidable. When we got the word that they was all right, you just thought the Lord himself could tell. Did you find out it didn't? Family members is gone, not only mine, no. but other 12 other yeah. people. I mean, and we want to know why. Answers came in the form of several lawsuits. The suit cited a long string of code violations at the mine. Six years later, the families of 11 of the men who were killed had won lawsuits, but nothing could return what they lost. Many credit the Sago mine disaster with helping to improve mine safety regulations. Separate investigations concluding, concluded lightning likely caused the explosion.